He can read! He can read! He can read! <laughs> Alright guys, I haven't videoed anything today thus far. I've already made it through the workday. Not gonna bore you guys with that. Gonna get in the back and get some build done. And I want one of these blankets because oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, intro, here we go. Let's get this on. Get it on. Let's get it on. Hey, look at that. I am outside just in time for it to start raining. I stopped by storage on the way home and grabbed a bunch of smaller stuff, mostly decorations. And then I come here and right after the, I just shot the, the, the baby footage, um, I start putting the stuff in its place. And it's like, dang it, I want to show you guys. So I had to go and get everything that I started placing everywhere. So here's what we got. We got some jute netting. This is going to be for the pallet maze to go up above. This is some miscellaneous stuff, this old book, and a couple of like really old uh, containers that we got from estate sales. And this is still full. There's still stuff in it. I wouldn't suggest using it. Is there a date on it? Can you see it on the bottom there? I'm not sure if it'll focus in on it or not. But yes, yeah, it's right there, 1950. And then we also have these old bottles right here. We've got a couple more in uh, the bigger styles in, in the wrapping. Oh, oh yeah, uh, light switch for one of the bedrooms or switch plate. Got the ears, uh, doilies, tablecloth for the dining room table. These outlets and switch plates we got from Necrotic Creations, www.necroticcreations.com. These are really, really awesome. They're all cast resin. Um, so you can use a double-sided uh, sticky tape to make them work. But very, very cool. And they come uh, painted. They also come unpainted if you wanted to do your own. So shout out to those guys for those. This mask is going to be one of the masks that we use in the drop panel. Uh, and we also have the uh, camo, uh, camouflage suit. Uh, basically, geely, geely suit. Uh, that's for the solarium. And then we've got, you know, your standard creepy cloth to put throughout wherever we need it. Oh, and the vampire's head. This head right here has been around in my haunt since uh, the very first one. So I went and I moved that stuff around the haunt. My next uh, plan that I got to do is cover this drop panel. So we're outside egress right now. Don't worry guys, that's on the outside. It's doing what it should. It's just dripping on the plastic that I'm trying to put up here. It's a vlog bombing drip. That's what that is right there. I have to go up here and put some plastic closer to this part right here simply because it's dripping right there. It drips there, it drips onto this mechanism here, and then it drips onto the photo. So I have to get rid of that. So that's what I'm gonna do now is I wanna put some plastic up there and stop talking and actually do it. There's the upper roof, and here is the second roof, the second containment, which is going all the way up to the panel there. So our actors out here will stay dry and hopefully the panels will too, including the picture to which is on the panel. Now I'm gonna work on getting this drop panel here, hopefully done tonight. Do you guys think I can do it? I gotta go say goodnight to my baby. Goodnight, baby Phoenix, Mr. Haunter to be. Here's the reason that you cannot use the piece of wood that you cut from your drop panel for your drop panel. So in other words, this one here, if we were working on it, you cannot use that piece of wood to make a drop panel because it has to be bigger than that piece right there, that opening. Therefore, this is what I've done. I've got these furring strips on it right here to get a little bit of distance so that this won't rub on the wall. And then all around I've stapled it because I had problems with stuff coming off before. And this isn't uh, thick, it's not canvas, it's just a print so it's kind of like poster, it's like a Basically a picture poster, but it's freaky. I mean, isn't that freaky? That's just freaky. This drop panel is officially 100% complete. So we've got the little spacer wood there, spacer wood there, because you have to space out your spacers. So that's a one by two and a two by two. Two by two is for the track. We have the wood fence gate latch there and up there. We have a bar piece of a two by four here that you can lift up. To set the panel up there on the bottom we have a two by two screwed in from the other side and this is what our handiwork looks like from this side over here 
So you see what I mean now about the gap in between here, which this one here, I've painted black. I think I'm just gonna leave it because of the shading and everything, you know, it's, it's, it's there, it's cool, it'll work. You guys need to follow us on Instagram, and the reason why I say that is because I've been doing these uh, cute little video clips, if you guys haven't seen them. Here's the one that I just did. <laughs> and that's the one that I did last night. So I'm not gonna show you guys anymore. I just wanna give you a taste of it. It's Halloween Hellmouth on Instagram. All right, kitties, we've had enough fun for tonight. Just between you and me, I woke up late this morning. It really sucked, so I need to go to bed. And we need to go and do cock, like two nights worth of cock. So let's go inside. Lights out! <gasps> oh my gosh, it is spooky in here. <laughs> it's totally dark. To save time on Troy editing, we're gonna do this extremely quick, and we're actually gonna do it quick this time. 175. This is cock from <clears throat> yesterday's vlog and the day before. Damn it, 353. Dana! Oh, wait. Dana. Oh, Dana. Oh, that's right. Wow. the camera on me. Slow. Okay. Hey. Great to see the haunt almost done. Hoping to be able to go through when operating this year. I hope so. Also, Lurie Lee, no problem. You had to get food to feed the minions. Glad to be able to help. Oh. Yeah. Willow. The haunt is huge. How long does it take to tear it all down after Halloween? With all the work, it seems like it'd be up until Christmas. Sometimes it is. It's easier to take it down than it is to put it up. Yes, yeah, very true. Except having to contend with the rain. Liu Kang, what do you guys feel like after Halloween has passed? Since I'm a big fan of Halloween, I just feel so empty. It is sad because it's sad and Lori Lee and I were talking about this the other day. It's sad because this haunt as it stands right now will never happen again. That's why I try to catch so much stuff on video. Dead in Cemetery, I was wondering what type of blood liquid you're using for the bleeding sink prop. Uh, this year I am just using red food coloring and water because you don't want to ruin the pump You don't want to put anything else in that pump because it will ruin it I have a fountain that I'm going to use in my cemetery cemetery pillars And I want the blood to be seen with a black light So I'm thinking about using pink highlighter ink and drain that and add red food coloring to that and use that in the fountain You could let me know how it works. I do know that yellow highlighter works really good under black light But it looks more like alien blood Jordan 101121000 Can you put a black light outside with it raining? Yes, you have to make sure it's covered. Awoken Nightmare, did Lori Lee get to drill her doll into the wall again? Not yet. Not yet. I think I'm going to leave it off the wall this year so I can give it to one of the broken dolls to scare people with. Ooh. So they can have it in their hand to press. That's a good idea. Because it's creepy when it laughs. Jonathan Mendez, item number for floodlight reflectors are 23351. I looked it up. Oh my gosh. You are a saint. Look at that. $11 for a three and a quarter inch black LED light uh they have different lenses for them so that you can put different colors on it freaking awesome thank you very much our local lowe's has them in stock steve lewis looking really good could i ask what your favorite halloween movie is i'm going to go with the saw series definitely saw burt bean 903 is having a small haunted house in my garage okay or do i have to get permission do it for charity adam owens ask your question again tomorrow because I'll, I'll film a little bit about it so put it down in, in comments right now Sergeant Vice 100, what would be better and cheaper to do, a drop-down skeleton or a spider? I'm thinking probably a spider. Skeletons cost a little bit more. Mr. Trev, 272, so now how many rooms are there left to do? Four, solarium, basement, drop panels, and bathroom. Lu Kang, what does egress mean? Basically, I believe that it's your European, but it's just your, your exits, your exit pathways and whatnot. So if people have to get out of the haunt in a hurry, that's what they use. It's called the path of egress. The PMV Productions. Can you show us who your biggest fan is so far? Yes, I can. These are our top fans, according to YouTube. And this is engagement, so this means like likes, thumbs up, shares, comments, views, etc. So there you go. Bella Mistrix, a PMV Production, Jordan 101120000, and you guys can see him. So freaking awesome. Look at you guys. There you are. Oh, everybody's right there. <gasps> Look, Lori Lee's not one of my biggest fans. <laughs> I'm your number one fan. <laughs> That's almost a freaking outro right there. <laughs> Jordan, 
and the numbers. Tell Lori Lee to screw up those dolls, LOL. Lori Lee, screw up the dolls, <laughs> LOL. Oh, wait. Somebody already, <laughs> somebody already did. It looks good enough in there. Andrew Reich, where do you get all those pallets? And, uh, and are they free? Yes, all the pallets that we got this year are free, or were free. And we, one of our actors from last year, her boyfriend works at a place, and he says, yeah, we got pallets we just need to get rid of. And I'm like, really? So that's where we got them from. So keep searching, look at Craigslist, etc. You will find them. Awoken Nightmare. Nice job. Couldn't you post flyers at schools in the area to get actors? Yes, and we have at every one. And also I am have ads running in the local uh, military newspapers. And Austin's going to hit the school, or he hit the school today, right? Austin hit the, the my, my campus, or our campus, because me and him went to school together, hit our campus today, and I already um, am working it out with the high school. Um, so hopefully uh, we'll get some calls from that too. That's it. All right, say happy haunting, because Troy wants to go to bed. Happy haunting, because Troy wants to go to bed. Happy bed, Troy wants to go happy haunting. I'm your number one fan. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>